happened. This is literally <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> Giving him the business. Wow. What just happened? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah. You know, uh, hey, we need a tr we need a quadruple gladiator teabag party on wow. the screenshot. Hey guys, it's Tickle, and we're doing a battleground. I'm on Brenda. I don't know if you noticed something about my alt shaman, but I got a terrible transmog and I got a two-handed axe. Yeah, that's right. I'm using a staff. Quick fact. If you're using a staff, you don't have a shield. Shields, what shields do, and I have a crappy one in my inventory down here. If you look at it, it gives you block, and it gives you armor, and that reduces incoming physical damage by about 5%, so it's pretty good. You want to be shooting for that one-hander and shield, but this is my alt. I don't have it. Now, I do have some kind of random traits and random gear. I'm only 344 item level, but I'm going snapshot because that's all I got, which is a stacking increasing int buff when I cast lightning bolt or chain lightning. Then I'm running Igneous Potential, One Piece, and then lastly, nat uh, Natural Harmony, which is something I've been using even on my main, because in the current meta, Ellie just seems to be co quite a caster in, in in pretty much all the PvP brackets, in 3v3 everything, it seems to be pretty dampening game. So to be as dampening as we can, we're out here casting a lot. So we're gonna back up, and people have been asking, how do you stay alive? How do you like? How do you play as an LE versus an enhanced? Because a lot of people saw me playing as enhanced. Well, the truth is, it's all about. It's a lot of it. Well, a lot of it is about positioning and keeping up. Uh, you know, kind of prepping your damage. So like, I'm sitting in the back. I'm not doing casting even a whole lot. You can see I'm trying to post up and just start casting on people when there's stuff going on in the back. I can CC them. I have lasso. I need to be using pretty much on cooldown. That's a trinket immediately. We're kind of getting ran at though. So here, I'm going to do a burst and see I'm in the back. There's only a few targets that can hit me right now. That's what you want to be going for. Oh my goodness, this Holy Paladin is insane. But see how I'm like in the back? And this is something as an enhance, you usually were in the fray. And you just had to trust that you had to pick your fights. But you pretty much had to trust your healer. So now here, I kind of have to be a little bit of a weenie. But not too much because I can cast and feel pretty confident about myself. So I'll probably get a trinket here. What you need to just be doing is looking out for enemy cooldowns and maximizing your damage. Stuns down. On top of everything, I'm casting into healers. Backing up. I'm like, yeah, I'm, it like, makes it look like I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat. But you know what? It, that's okay. I'm going to trick at that and start kiting. Ooh, that guy just got evaporated. So it's a, it's a, you know, I'll have a more focused video on, on the difference between Ellie and uh, Enhance. But at least for Battlegrounds, like, I'm never in a position where 11 people can hit me. You know what I mean? Like, that's something else that you want to be really mindful of now being a caster boy. Sure, you're not as ballsy, but at least you live. Another good thing is you want to be casting pretty much all the time. So what do I do is if I don't know what to press, I can f use uh, Frost Shack as a filler as I'm moving. So here I'm casting, I'm moving... I'm, and then between my globals, and I think getting used to that combo is, is pretty important. So here I'll do it. My burst combo. Sky Fury is down. I'm going to Lava Burst. Earth Shock. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Now I need to get back in range. Another Flame Shock up. I can do another Earth Shock. Lightning Bolt while I'm in range. And here again, I only want to be in range for about one to two people to hit me max because I don't want to get wrecked. Now, of course, you know, am I putting out the maximum amount of pressure? Debatable. But it's, it's how you don't die. Because it definitely, if it's becoming an LA Shaman, people are asking, why don't you get focused? Well, don't be in a position where you can get focused. Flame Shock is out on a ton of targets right now with, uh, as well, which has given my, me having uh, a pretty much a huge uptime. Oh, we'll interrupt him. I'm even cutting him. He's trying to hodge me. I'm going to root him. He's trying to hodge me. You can just you can sense it. He'll give up eventually. I'm going to purge that buff off. Purging that buff off, stunning him. Nice. So see how I kind of like position myself and run away? That's what you got to get used to as an LE versus an enhance because it's a lot, 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 lot different. Now, I did just record this video, and I had my mic muted the entire time or it was bro uh, messed up or something. But, but yeah, so it's, it's all about positioning and being in the best place at the best time to keep your damage rolling. You always want to be casting. Like here, I'm going to Stormkeeper, Earthshock, Lightning Bolt. Okay. And I'm going to Earth Shock, Lightning Bolt. That's your burst. It's a little bit different now that I'm not using Lava Shock stacking, but it's it's a lot of damage still. I'm, I'm top damage right now by a pretty good amount. And it's really all about your f Flame Shocks, because that's going to enable everything else. So I know there's a lot of people asking about the difference between Enhance and Ally, and I think that's really what it's about positioning. The other thing is using things like your Stun Totem all the time. Using things like your Root Totem 
or your slow totem earthbind you can see it on all the time i have a macro section that can kind of go over all that stuff but it's what you need to be using in max range like that's max freaking range he can't fear me from there now i'm gonna watch him though all right he's gonna come out of that i'm gonna drop tremor right now he could he could have feared but he didn't and he got pulled anyway i'm coming to earth shock lightning bolt Using SOP, you need to keep those rotations in mind. I'm always using lightning bolts after earth shocks for max damage, or I'm using flame sh well, flame shock afterwards for the root. It's actually really good. That's really good. Uh, see, I don't want to use Stormkeeper right now because I don't have enough Maelstrom built up, but I can use like Lasso to, lo to lull at him. At least actually really good in team fights too, not because of chain lightning, but earthquake actually does a lot, as well as just having up to four targets to flame shock is a really really big deal because of the change in 8.1 that made it last 24 seconds it means you can have before and if you have four and you have igneous potential you're gonna be procking a lot and we'll look at some of the proc uptimes later but uh definitely good so i just my first global was actually putting it down as slow and so here i'm just kind of doing passive damage flame shocks up again that cooldown's not as big of a deal when you have all this stuff to cast and all these procs all right, we're going to... Oh, he used a defensive. I'm not going to damage into that. Earth shock, Lightning Bolt. Got the, Hopefully got the kill there. That guy's going to lead me back to his master. Trying to get in range. Okay. I wanted to at least use my Stormkeeper. Now, chasing too. I can go with, as close as I want with this guy and get a lasso on him. It was DR'd because of stun. You had to be careful of that. But in, in beaches, you can't really, can't really do anything about that. There's been a lot of questions about Earthen Rage. Earthen Rage, I've been going that a lot because, again, we're kind of the passive caster. Again, you know, we're, we're lobbing meaties, meaties in there, but, uh, you know, we're just trying to keep not dead and do as much damage as we can. So that's really what it's about. Now, sometimes you'll see me, like, kind of, like, not do anything. That's because I'm, like, kind of waiting to get another frost shot, uh, another flame shot up, which isn't necessarily a good thing. I need to be good about that. Ideally, you want to always be casting or have know what's up. Now, I'm going to flame shock next. No, I don't even need to. You want to know what's next. So like this, I'm going to flame shock. I'm going to start spamming frost shock. Go over here. I can't flame shock yet, so we're going to keep running. I'm going to assume this guy's going to die soon, but maybe he won't. Yep, you can keep damaging him. <clears throat> so you want to kind of have that stuff. So these are all kind of tips for you guys. Picking up Ellie if you're from Enhance. If you're not as comfortable, if you're new to Ellie, these are tips for you, uh, especially if you're coming from a melee class because Ellie's kind of popular right now. So we're going to run to the top lane. We're actually losing right now by actually a pretty good amount. That's probably because they're running the cart way more than we are. Uh, that's pretty much the reason why people win this map is because of cart running. Let's see if there's a healer. Okay, there's a healer. You always want to focus the healer. Just throw down a stun totem down there. Now there's a there's a art, there's a uh, holy paladin, so there's actually a lot of problems with that. Uh, they're actually really good for healing people uh, uh, tanks like this <coughs> because I will just actually try to get a, some damage on him. Ah, he's not gonna take anything. They're really good because they have sacrifice. Because if they sacrifice the FC, no problem. They're never gonna die. The other problem here is, oh god, I'm dead. Putting down slow. I'm in Ghost Wolf. It gives me a little bit of healing for sexual recovery, but it doesn't really matter. But we can get out of here. I'm taking 20% reduced damage. It's almost like using a defensive cooldown, and I'm running away. And as I'm running, I'm healing. Can they kill me? Yeah, but if there's only a DH, I might be able to take him. Look at this. They're just, uh, where are my buds? I'm actually, my goal right now is to stop that cap. <laughs> But I'm dead. But it actually took him a while. You know, that's one of the things about running this build too. Spectral Recovery and Spirit Wolf makes you pretty defensive. And you are getting some healing from that. Now, if you do have, if you're running BG build only, you can also run Spectral Recovery, which is somewhere in here. Or no, sorry, it's Pack Spirit, which will also give you some heals uh, every second. Now, it got nerfed a lot, but to be honest, it's still pretty good for stacking. So, not shab, not shab. All right, now what are we up to? All right, so they're pretty much, they're actually dominating us uh, pretty hard. We have three heal. We have three healers. We actually have a tank too. That's pretty crazy. 
Now, you'll probably probably see it through the damage. Oh, wow. I'm top damage. Awkward. Now, again, if I ran in at that Mistweaver, I'd be at a pretty bad spot for this guy. It was dr Can't control that. I'm going to get another Flame Shocks put up. Even though I'm hitting this Warrior, or whatever the hell his name is, Zero Blaze XD. I want to be looking at other targets, too, as I'm casting. So usually what I do is, as I'm casting abilities, I'm looking at other shit. So I hear this guy's moving up. I'm going to keep kiting here. All right, that's the healer. Okay, so here I actually have a lot of damage from a Stormkeeper. Lava Burst, Earth Shock, Lightning Bolt. Oh, I sheared the air. He could die, maybe? No. So I was in a pretty bad spot there. Now they can pick me off and s pretty much slow me. Luckily, if I can get a good... Oh, no, I'm dead. I saw that Stormkeeper pop. Oh, he got gripped into me, bro! No! We're in Let's see if we can live. Let's see if we can live. All right. We lived that. Fury Warriors do so much damage. Be careful, guys. Slowing him. Stop. Stunning out there. I'm going to use lasso before the stun goes off. Again, the healing out of um, whatever these things are, Fury Warriors, is insane. I'm actually leveling one myself. We're just going to PvE. Oh, just barely. I saw that guy coming up. That's why he started spamming instants. Monkeys are so slow. Or are so fast. We can try to get out of combat and mount. We might be able to catch him and throw a lasso on him. Catch him. Catch him, buddy. I'm just gonna run up and lasso. Insta trinket. Lasso does seem to be super good at getting trinkets. Oh, looks like we're about to lose. Let's see if we can get one more kill. Another flame shock. It's gonna be on the monk if I even get it. Nah, not gonna get it. All right, overall damage. That's insane. That's a ton of damage. Uh, actually, that's pretty good. Flame Shock looked 25%, which is crazy. Earth Shock did a lot. See, I'm not yet running any Lava Shocks, but I'm still doing about 25k-ish crits, which is not bad, um, to be honest. And now I'm just spamming them, and I'm using them between my abilities to activate Lightning Bolts. Now you can see Overload's doing more damage than Lightning Bolt, which means I'm doing a good job of utilizing my SOPs, uh, procs for Lightning Bolt. Now, Lasso does a lot of damage. Lava Burst does okay amount of damage. I mean, I'm only hitting for about 7k. But again, remember, my, my gear is pretty bad. So, And now if we look at my buff uptime, if you look over here on the right, you can see Lava Surge was up for 40%, about 40% of the game, which is okay, seeing as I was running around a lot. So that's actually pretty good. Nature's Harmony Fire and Nature were up 80%. That's crazy. And then Deadly and all that other stuff. Wow, that's pretty crazy. But that's it, guys. That's going to be the daily battle round for today. I hope this helped you in kind of transitioning from Enhance to Ellie or considering Ellie and how to play those casters in Battlegrounds. I'll see you guys in the next one or on the stream. And thank you so much to the YouTube people that have joined the YouTube channel as members. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.